Hello and welcome to Clacton IT Club. In this video, we're going to be looking at how to set up and use the password manager in Microsoft Edge. But before we go ahead and do that, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel, hit the notification icon bell to be notified of any further updates. And if you like this video, then please give us a thumbs up. So now let's go and have a look and see how we set things up. OK, so let's have a look at how we use the password manager in Microsoft Edge. So one of the first things we're going to want to do is to make sure that it's actually turned on. Over on the top right, we have three dots and we're going to want to click those. You hover your mouse over, it says settings and more. Come down to settings. And the first page you're going to land on is your profile page. For some of the features in this to, to work, you're going to need to be logged into your Microsoft account. And we can see that I am here because over over to the right, it says sign out. So that's telling me that I am signed in. I'm going to come down to passwords. And the very first option you have towards the top is offer to save passwords. And that's turned off, so it's a good job we checked. So let's turn that on. Next one we have sign in. So we can choose to automatically, or we can choose with device password. If we choose automatically, which I believe is the default, then when you go to a website and you've to a new website and you've just entered in your password and it saves it for you. Next time you go back there after you're logging out, then it will just want to fill in your password for you automatically. With device password, you'll be challenged for a master password, which would be your Microsoft account password. So let's have a quick look at that. OK, now that we've uh, activated that, we have two options here. We have a drop down box. Now, the first option is once every browsing session. So whether your browsing session is five minutes or five hours, if you haven't closed that browser, you would only be challenged for your master password the first time you log into a site. However, if you want to be even more security conscious, you have another option here, which is always. So every time you log in to a website, it will ask you each time that you log into a site to enter your master password first. So those are your two options. For now, we're just going to leave it on automatically for the, this tutorial. Next one down is show the reveal password button in password fields. This is a Marmite feature. Some people love it, some people hate it. If you want to be able to keep a hard copy of your uh, passwords by writing it down and keeping it somewhere safe, then this is going to be a great feature. If you want to double check that the password that you've entered, if you enter in your own password, then uh, make sure that you've done it right so you haven't used uppercase when it should have been lowercase and so forth. This is another good feature. But then there are people who are a bit security conscious and think that that's a bit risky. So you have your option there. One, one thing to note is that some websites actively disable this feature. Show alerts when passwords are found in an online leak. This is a something that used to at one time only be available in paid for password managers. And Microsoft is giving you this for free. So definitely you want to activate this one. Suggest strong passwords. You will only see this if you're logged into your Microsoft account. And this is where one of the benefits of being logged into your Microsoft account is because this will give you a 15 digit password that is unique each time. So let's uh, turn these on. So reveal the password, not going to bother with that one. It's up to you. It's a Marmite feature. 
Show alerts, yes please. Oh look, we can see here that there is one of my passwords has been leaked on the internet. <coughs> so how do we fix this? Well, if we come over to the right, we have this chevron or this arrow to the right. Click on that. And we're on the page where it says fix leaked passwords. And then we have a, a feature here which will talk us through how to fix things. And we can see the website that has been uh, compromised. Over to the right, we have the button here where we can choose to change that password. Now, if you ever come across this, then please change your password as soon as possible, because the sooner you change it, the better your security is going to be. And hopefully you'll get there before the bad guys start selling it on the dark web. In this particular case, I'm not particularly bothered because this is a website where the password was forced upon me by the website owner and it has no personal details there. All it is, is to access their own training videos on how to plaster a wall or how to plaster a ceiling. So I left that on there so that you could see that in this video. I'm going to come back towards where it says passwords. I'm going to click this little arrow to the left to go back one page. Suggest strong passwords, let's turn that on. Now we can start browsing if we want to and then go to where we want to go. But there's a, another feature that I want to show you here. And that is saved passwords. So this is the vault where your passwords are going to be saved. If you see over to the right here, we have a button, a toggle that says show health. So let's turn that on as well. And we can see here that we have some sites and we have the health of those sites, the health of your password. We know that one site is already compromised, but this is still telling us about it. So hover the mouse over that, it says this is a leaked password. The one underneath that, no known issues and no known issues again. Further down, we have never saved so you could choose, if you want to, to never save a password. It could be that it's a site that you don't want anybody else to be able to access. So that's your options there. Let's close this uh, window down and let's go somewhere where it doesn't require too much login details. So we're going to try Grammarly. And we're going to click login. We haven't got any other features. I'll, I've just had this thing up about accepting cookies. I'm going to accept that. Cookies are relatively harmless. So let's click login. So you'll see here that I already have uh, an account with this place. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to pretend that I haven't and I'm going to use another email address. So I'm going to click I don't have an account. And I'm going to enter a, a pass here. So now for the password. Uh, it knows that I've already got uh, an account here, so it's showing me the option to use my existing uh, password. But I don't want to do that because I'm creating a new one. Next line down, it says suggest a strong password. So I'm going to click on to that one. And you'll see here that it's created a password in. I believe that is 15 digits long. Obviously, you ain't going to remember that. But then that's why you've got the password manager. So if we click on that, that's going to enter it for us. Now it's just asking me to use a username. So I'm just going to enter something in there. Agree and sign up. 
and we can see here that it says password is saved. So view and manage passwords in your Microsoft account. That's when you can decide if you want to never save. So let's just close that for now. Obviously, it's asking me uh, what kind of service I want, whether it's for school work, or, but that's a different video entirely. Down the bottom here, I have skip personalization. If I don't go through that, then uh, it, I won't be able to log out of this just yet. Skip the tour. Come up to menu and I'm going to log out. OK, so now I've logged out of the account and I'm going to close the browser just for the sake of closing it. And I'm going to reopen it just to show you that it will remember the password. OK, so let's try Grammarly again. Log in. OK, so now we're going to sign in. If we click into the email, we can see that we have two accounts here. All we have to do is choose the correct one that we want to log in with. Click continue. And here you can see that the password has already been saved for us. And then we would click sign in. Now, if you had enabled the uh, password feature, let's go back to and show you quickly. Now, if you had chosen this option with device password, it was at that point when we log in back in that we would have been challenged for our Microsoft master password. And just let's log out of this now, shall we? OK, so I hope you found that video interesting and helpful. If you did, please give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and to be notified of any further updates, hit that notification icon bell. Thank you for watching.